This is Jason Verney's podcast. I am Jason Verney. Uh, a short while ago, I did a podcast, part one, of um, Oyster Oyster Factory. A free... It was actually a UK premiere free screening of that Japanese documentary. I say it's two and a half hours long. I've just taken a break between that podcast it was getting a bit busy where I was and also I was going to go and see the people at the uh, Sewolol protest as for the Sewol ferry Sewol ferry that capsized about three years ago and there's a monthly protest Uh, I have some friends who take part in that so I wanted to resume um, from where I where I got to with that and I'm still outside in London not far from Common Garden not far from um, Trafalgar Square not far from Leicester Square kind of in that area but basically I had to start from where I left off which was talking about the the kind of uh, you could say the immigrant situation in the film now this oyster oyster factory which um showed people um, there's actually a word for it but actually taking the oysters out of their shells um, they employed they employ Chinese workers and it was interesting to see how they were talking kind of negatively but jokingly maybe uh, regarding some of the Chinese workers but towards the end of the film you see that relationship or you see um, you see how you know they, they do the Chinese workers I guess they do try to try to adapt um, and especially as I was kind of briefly mentioning at the end of the last podcast you you do see one who you see his expression for a while new on the job and he's it looks like he's going to say, oh, I'm going to sort of throw the towel in, jack this in, give this give this work up, even after a short while being shown the ropes, uh, the cleaning up. He actually, but instead of that, he actually gets a dustpan, helps them clean up um, after a day's work, I believe. I mean, it, of course, you, you don't really know what happens at the end of the time I mean we we, this is only a two two and a half hour documentary you see quite a few days of this quite a long time it's not just a couple a few days I guess that it was shot it was probably shot over a longer period but yeah so basically that's one aspect of the film it 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 kind of shows the human spirit and the the sort of mixture of cultures mixture of languages even to a point where throughout further on in the film that the children who are um, Japanese children they're kind of being taught Chinese words um, and not just she she for thank you and other words they're, they're being taught um, words that actually could be useful now whether the, the progress with the children's learning actually um, moves on it actually becomes useful or helpful I don't know but it's um it's it's an interesting part, but other other aspects of the film, other other moments of human spirit and human kindness, and even saving lives. There's a bit where a guy is kind of falling in the water. A, a, a guy, a stranger, has fallen fallen in the water, and he's being he could, he's he's seen be clinging to a rope, and this is real life, and this is basically the people on the boat who are doing the oyster. I guess farming or getting them from the sea they, they spot this guy and they, they, they pra- practically save his life I mean he go to him he kind of swims a couple of feet to the boat and they, they save him and all this is caught on camera and, it, and they even say to him I bet this happens all the time and they said they say to him no this this was the first ever time so it was a quite a moment to be as a doc, as a documentary maker the Japanese filmmaker um, and also a documentary maker myself it was quite a quite an <laughs> intriguing and exciting moment, as, as weird as that sounds, because you're saving someone's life. But it's kind of those moments that are captured and they would never be seen otherwise. Um, a couple of other scenes to note. There's a heartwarming... I would say it's quite a heartwarming um, sort of element to the film. 
the, the wife of one of the guys. She's cooking, she's kind of a bit shy on camera, but she warms to it, she's laughing all the time. It's a great, it's a great, it's a great moment, or a couple of moments. And the other, I guess the other significant part of the film is... Well, 500 pounds then. It open, it actually, um, the film opens with um, a white cat who's seen throughout the rest of the film and he's either trying to be coerced I'm not sure if it's a he or a she but the cat I think it's a he I think they they say trying to be trying to be sort of kept outside the house and then it's trying to be forced inside the house and it's outside inside whatever it's um it's kind of a, a humorous moment for the audience and the cat is c- kind of loved by all quite a few of the people in the film so I mean all in all it's a long film a long documentary but it is an obs- observational documentary it's um, I thought it was worthy of a re- review it, even a, a small review like this in uh, this part two of it because it um, you know it shows uh, the um, the human spirit and what, when people come together whether they be foreign or of the same of the same country language I think it just shows, uh, you know, as much as... And this was the irony being, I, I'm kind of sometimes vegetarian and um, mostly pescatarian at the moment. And there I was, tucking into my tuna cucumber uh, baguette when this is a film about um, oyster, oyster, oyster farming, oyster factory... I mean, even at the beginning, I thought, well, I'm not really in the mood for this. I was a bit, as I said before, I was a bit groggy. I woke up and a bit grouchy, a bit grumpy. And I wasn't sure, even after the first five, ten minutes, whether this was going to be for me on uh, that Saturday. Sorry, this Saturday. But what was, what was then the um, around midday? Anyway, so I'm going to close it off there. If I think of anything else, I'll do a part three. But, yeah. That that film was um, it was worth seeing. Not sure I'd actually. Um, I would, I'm not sure if I'd actually see it again, but it was worth seeing, and I might check out some of his other films. Okay, that's it. See you later. Bye.